I think as silly as it sounds, I think that the Iron Man concept is motivating. And I think that we're to the point where we really can take ideas and concepts that come out of fantasy and we can almost use that as motivation in real life. I think we've reached a point in technology where anything is possible, really. If you can dream it, you can do it. That's awesome. That is so awesome. <laughs> I, I'm motivated by the idea of having Jetson's personal flying machines come to life. That's the kind of thing that motivates me. I move forward one step at a time and I study what needs to be done to get to that next step. I think that's, that's how I, I get through. It really, I think people are the best resources that we have. No man is an island and it takes a village to raise a child and it takes a village to create an electrofly. In five years or less, we're going to see early adopters and high prices for personal flying machines, just like the people who bought the first cars. And in five to 10 years, I think that that will change where production gets high enough that prices come way down and people start to have this paradigm shift where it's no longer crazy to think about owning your own personal flying machine and having it in your own garage. And at that point, I think that they'll be like, it'll be like having a motorcycle in your garage. No one will even think it's a big deal. Do it because you're passionate about it and you love it. And the old saying that you'll never work a day in your life if you love what you do, I think that's really true and that and following your, your heart, I think those are valuable principles. The motto we have at Electrofly is that dreams are meant to be chased and we want to pass that along to you so that you can go out and chase your own dreams.